Hello everybody and welcome to these do-it-yourself exercises. In these exercises the goal is to create the following effects. We want to create the turbulence effect, we want to create vertical bars and we want to create magnify. The idea is that we do this using displacement map. Bars and magnify are quite difficult so give it a try one fair warning unfortunately in Inkscape in my version anyway background image does not work as a source for displacement map so if you want a hint then stay tuned if you don't want a hint pause or close the video and get started the hint is coming now the hint is that for bars and magnify you have to create your own displacement map you can create these displacement maps relatively easily in Inkscape if you know what you're doing uh, and then export them to PNG and then use the effect add image and select them and the image will then be the input in your displacement map okay good luck Pause the video and close it if you want to try the exercises yourself. See you soon. Bye bye. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a displacement map for the turbulence. First of all, let's select uh, our picture and let's create a new filter named Turb Disp for turbulent displacement. And we are going to add a turbulence effect and we are also going to add a displacement map effect now let's put as first input for our displacement map the source graphic and as second input we want the displacement which is the turbulence we can then increase the scale of our turbulence i mean the scale of the displacement map from zero to four for example and let's apply the filter let's increase the scale a bit more and we see that the picture is getting jumbled up for the next part of the uh, exercise we want to create a displacement map which splits the picture up into vertical bars in order to do that we are first going to create our very own displacement map let's create let's start by creating a rectangle with the same aspect ratio as the picture in order to do that i create a rectangle and i ensure that my snap settings are on i want a corner to corner snapping and let's draw our rectangle and resize it or well, let's uh, actually remove the stroke first and then resize it so that we have a picture of exactly a rectangle of exactly the same height and width as the original picture and let's zoom in on the selection And zoom out a little bit and now we want to split this rectangle into three vertical bars and now we have to set the red green and blue values of these rectangles to uh, to coincide with how we want our displacement map to occur Let's set the red, green and blue values. Let's start with setting the red value. So I select all rectangles and I want to set the red value to 127. Why 127? That's exactly in the middle. So that means that there would be no displacement if I 
had it less than 127 there's a negative displacement and if I set it to the right of 127 there's a positive displacement next I want to set the middle value I'm going to set the middle value to 127 for green as well and 127 for blue. That means that uh, this part of the picture will not have any displacement at all. We only leave our alpha channel at 255 just to avoid confusion. On the left I want to set my green value to zero. That means that the green will define a negative displacement and my blue to 255. The blue will define a maximum positive displacement. On the rectangle most to the right I do the same but I set green as maximum and blue as minimum. Now I would like to use these this rectangle as input for my for my filter but unfortunately the background image does not work yet when it comes to the displacement map so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to export this rectangle to my hard drive I export the selection and next I'm going to start creating my filter. Let's click on new and let's create vertical bars and I'm going to add a displacement map at an image as input first of all and I'm going to select the image which I just created here is the image I just created And I'm going to apply the filter and as you can see that's the image which I've just created and I'm going to change the general filter settings to make the size of the resulting image to be identical to the original size and next I'm going to add a displacement map so we want as input to be the source graphic and as displacement map we have the image. I set the X displacement to be green and the Y displacement to be blue and I'm going to increase the scale and I see that it's moving. So let's switch it up. Let's move blue to the left and green here green. finally we are going to create a displacement map which magnifies part of the image under a circular area in order to do that we have to create our very own displacement maps again this is just a little bit more tricky than the last one so let's give it a try first of all we are going to create another displacement map based on this rectangle. Let's move this away and let's change the color of the rectangle to gray. Recall that a color of 127, a value of 127 corresponds to a displacement of zero. So if I set the red, green and blue values for the whole rectangle, there will be no displacement at all and let's draw a 
circle and give the circle a width and a height of 100. And give it a color so we can see where we are placing it more clearly. And let's place it in the middle of this square on the top. So let's switch on our snap settings and snap midpoints. And there we go. In fact, let's change the width and the height to 150 rather. Let's add a gradient. And we want to set our red value to be 0, to be 250 on the left side, and our red value to be 0 on the right side, and we want it to be 127 exactly in the middle. So let's edit this gradient. On the left, we want a red value of 255. And on the right, we want a red value of 0. And let's not forget to change the opacity to maximum. And it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to set the blue value to 0 on both sides. Green, we would like to keep it at 127. In addition to this circle, which actually magnifies things horizontal, we want an additional displacement map, which does the same, but magnifies things vertically. We want the top to be 100% blue, 0% red, and green right in the middle. And we want the bottom to be 0% red and 0% blue, and green right in the middle. Now let's export these two rectangles. I'm going to and let's apply this to a filter. I click on new and I click on and I type magnify and I add a image. Which image do I add? I add circle blue, which will magnify things vertically. And I add a displacement map. If I apply the image, I see, yeah, I have the right image, but let's once again change the coordinates and the dimensions. Now I want, this was a vertical magnification, so I want the Y displacement to depend on the blue value. I don't want any displacement in the X direction, so I want that to depend on the green value. Let's have the source image as first input and the displacement, the image as the second, the uh, circular image as the second input of our displacement map. And let's increase, let's add the other image as well. Let's move the image above the displacement map. And now we want as the output of our second image to be a displacement in the y direction excuse me in the x direction we want red and in the y direction we want blue 
we want green and here we have a magnification in the y direction as well and let's just uh, modify our magnifying glass a bit and voila